welcome to the Phoenix and Glitchy Talk Shit Show. We have our guest, Kenny. And he's going to sit here and react, most hilariously, to me telling you a wonderful story of my super-ass ex-husband. Now, Kenny, as I was saying, I cannot recall if I was either just having had my first child or if I was pregnant with my second son. I can't recall. It happens. It was a while back. It's, there's been some different shit happening in my life, obviously. Any fucking ways. So, my... Actually, no. I think I had just had Emmett. And I did it again. Whatever. Uh, I had just had him, my, young, my oldest son, and then... I was sick. I didn't feel well. I was having a kind of shitty day. Because I was sick. And my mom asked me in one of her rare moments of actually being genuinely nice to me, or at least pretending to be, because if you guys have watched any past videos, you know my mom's a raging fucking cunt. Any fucking ways, back to the point. So, exactly, truth. Also, I've got my nails on again. Yay! I almost clawed my fucking eyes out before this recording started. So, we're sitting there, and my mom, or well, we go, come back from the store, and my mom has bought me a big honking fucking, like, one or two pound bag of peanut M&Ms. Because that was all I wanted from the store, you know, a special little thing. That's all I'd asked for. Okay. I go, and I open the bag just enough for me to slip one of my fucking fingers in there and pull out one M&M at a fucking time. I ate a total of four, maybe five of them, and then I closed them up, and I went to bed, because I wasn't feeling good, and it was around bedtime anyways for a mother, pretty much a single mom, because my ex-husband was fucking useless. Um, so, I go to sleep. The next morning, I wake up. The time frame might be a little bit extended because I can't fucking remember if it was the next day or maybe I just took a nap on the couch. I don't fucking remember. It doesn't matter. That's not really important, but I brought it up anyways because yay me. So I'm fucking sitting there. I go out to the couch. Yeah, no, actually I did. I go, I, we went to bed for the night and he got up before me. So I go out to the couch. And you know how when you know something's supposed to be heavy, you exert a certain amount of pressure or force or whatever? To fucking lift said heavy object. Right? Yeah. Okay. So, I did that. Thinking my bag of M&M's, my fucking bag of peanut M&M's, was still nice and full other than the four or five that I had eaten the night before. It was in the same spot. At least I think it was. I didn't fucking remember. And... I practically threw it over my head. Because there was only yeah. like seven of them left. And I'm sitting there like, I know exactly what the fuck happened. Because my ex is avoiding eye contact. My ex, well, he's my husband at the time, obviously. He's avoiding eye contact. He's being really damn quiet. He's kind of creeping a distance from me. Acting like everything's hunky fucking dory. And I'm like, I, I got this shit. I know what the fuck's up. <sighs> I go and I ask my mom. Hey, mom. Oh, no, sorry. First, I checked the dog. So he couldn't use that as an excuse. He watched me check her mouth. He watched me smell her breath for any kind of chocolate or, you know, that Not to mention dogs are allergic to Exactly, and if she'd eaten that many, the bag would have been muzzled. Or mauled. The bag would have been torn up. But no, it was only a little bit more open to fit his fat motherfucking fingers. Excuse me, I have to cough. <coughs> okay. So, I go and I check my kid. My eldest son. He can't get out of his fucking crib yet. He hasn't... Discovered that whole little stunt yet. <laughs> Not a single fucking bit of chocolate on him. He isn't looking like he's choked on anything at all. 
I even smell his breath, kind of wiggle my finger around in his mouth, check under his tongue and in his teeth. Well, he doesn't have teeth yet, therefore, couldn't crush him. So he's not the culprit. I already know who the fuck did it! But I'm making a huge show of asking everybody else in the house before I get back to him. I go to my brother. My brother's teeth are rotting out of his fucking skull. He's not gonna touch my peanut M&M's. He doesn't even like peanut M&M's. One moment. So, I go and I ask my brother, Hey Josh, did you eat any of my M&M's? I'm not like mad or anything. I just I was just curious because the bag's not got as many in them as it had. And by not as many as it had, there's only fucking like seven of them left. So, I go, and then I ask my mom. My mom, who has false teeth. And she does not eat peanut M&M's either. Have you noticed a pattern with the teeth in my family? Because, <coughs> because, see, from my mom's side of the family, I got this wonderful fucking genetic disease called soft teeth syndrome. Or brittle teeth, I don't know, whatever the fuck they want to call it. Where our teeth will crumble, or fracture, or shatter at the slightest fucking pressure. I could just be sitting here talking like this, and one of my teeth would crack off. I currently have fake teeth. Because of this fucking dis disorder. But you can't tell, you can't hear it, because it's been a, about a year or so. Whatever. Back to the main point in original story here. I go, like I said, I ask everybody in the fucking house, and I save my ex-husband to last. And he's sitting on the floor, and I go in there and ask him, I'm like, look, I asked everybody else. I know such and such doesn't do this. I know he can't. I know that the dog didn't do it. If you tell me the truth, I will not beat the shit out of you. But if you lie to me, and I swear to God, a God I don't even believe in, I swear to every fucking deity and demon listening, if you lie to me, I will beat you until you can't breathe. And he lied to me. Oh, Looked God. me in the eyes and lied to me. Now, as I stated before we started recording, this is the same motherfucker who would sit there and pick the upholstery off my mother's fucking chair and eat it. I recorded him doing this. I don't have that recording anymore. Otherwise, I'd be posting it on the internet. Take that as to mean what you will. I don't fucking care. See, I've had video proof of him lying to me. I've had vocal proof. I've had proof from multiple sources of him lying to me. He's a fucking liar! So, <laughs> so, when I asked him, and I told him, your life is in danger if you lie to me. I'm not joking. I'm not playing around. I'm not making idle threats. I will literally physically beat you. Because I am not, I cannot handle you lying to me anymore. See, he wouldn't divorce me. My mother was conspiring with him to keep me in this relationship with him and keep me constantly off my fucking rock. Like, I was always on tilt because he was fucking lying, she was a liar, and she would constantly undermine every single thing I did and make it so that I looked like I was a fucking psycho. And to a degree, I became a fucking psycho because of the shit that I went through living with them. So, like I said, he lied. I swear to fucking God, he lied to me, looking me straight in the eyes, and said, no, he didn't eat it. And that was it. I walked over to my son's crib. I picked my sweet little baby up, and I took him over to Grandma. And I asked her, hey, Mom, I don't need witnesses. Can you take him for a stroll down the street? Take Uncle Josh. Have a nice drive. And she's like, you know, do what you gotta do. And she 
<gasps> she took him. She took my son with her, and they drove, like, went for a walk or something. I don't fucking remember. And I calmly walked my way back through the kitchen into our end of the house. And I slapped him, open-palmed, across the face. Now, I'll state again, <clears throat> never in my entire life had I been physically violent with another significant other, nor have I been physically violent since then other than the occasional accident and stupid shit that happens when you're horsing around with your beloved person. Uh, or, you know, hey, kinky times on the bedroom. Uh -huh. <laughs> but never since then or before then had I been physically had or have I been physically violent with a significant other? I was literally made so fucking insane by the toxic environment I was trapped in with my mother and her stupid shit and my psychotic fucking brother and my fucking now ex-husband that I hit him so hard across the face that he went to the ground. I proceeded to physically beat the ever-living shit out of him with my bare hands. And he just kept doing this stupid little sniffle thing, which is his way of fake crying. I wasn't doing it. <coughs> I, I, you're laughing, but let me explain. And it is funny now that you look back on it, but at the same time, it's still got that bit of a fucking factor in my brain where I would love to just beat the shit out of him again. Because of he, because he's such a fucking liar, and he's legitimately turning my kids into liars. So, <sighs> so I realized he was fake crying, trying to tug at my heartstrings. My heartstrings for that motherfucker had shriveled up long ago. Okay. My fucking, the place where my heart should have been and whatever was a shriveled fucking husk of nothing but burnt ash and his fucking lies. Okay. Oh, dear Lord. That's enough for the waxing poetic, you know. So, I realize he's fake crying. And I'm so fucking psychotically pissed off at this point that I can't physically fucking stand it anymore. Because even when I'm physically hurting him, he's still lying. He's still faking it. And I was done. I snapped. And I did one of the most horrible things I could think to do, which was remind him of why he's afraid of women. Starting with the fact that his mother, once in front of him, barely missing him, threw a frying pan at his stepdad and dented the front fucking door, the metal front door of their house. Oh, dear Lord. That is how done I was. That is how fucking psychotic I can be. And honestly, I feel like at this particular point in time, this is something I should send to my therapist. This this video. But I won't do that. I'll post it on the internet if anything. I don't care. <laughs> but the thing of it is you send him a link. Like, Here, right? Merry Christmas. Exactly. Here, Merry Christmas. You think yeah. I'm all better now? You think I'm okay? Enjoy. And now we're saying this on the video, so it's gonna like make it sound ugh, whatever. Anyways, so editing, editing. Bitch, we can't edit shit. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Any fucking ways. So, so, so. I go in to get a frying pan. Actually, I think I got two frying pans from the kitchen because I dual wielded it. I had this fucking scenario in my head where I was some avenging fucking like woman in armor and the frying pans were my fucking vengeance for women everywhere who'd ever been wronged by a man. It was a whole lot of fucking, yeah. It was a whole lot of self-righteous shit in my head. You don't understand the sheer amount of fucking crazy images that pop up in my head 
when I'm fucking like at any given moment, honestly, I don't care how fucking dire a situation can be, my brain will be working out how awesome I look in this moment. Or how whatever. I don't doubt it. I do not doubt it. I do not doubt it. Like this morning, for instance, Boneyards, my darling, my beloved, said something or other. It wasn't anything bad. It was completely fucking hilarious. And I thought that he had said, no, no, uh, he was asking me to make him breakfast. And I lied, or I didn't really lie, but I said, we don't have any forks. Ignoring the fact that I could make pizza, ignoring the fact that I could make some soup or, you know, any other number of thing that didn't need forks. Because I didn't want to get up. I was still sleeping, damn it. And I love my boyfriend to death, but a motherfucker will wake me up to make him some food. And I'm like, God damn it, I'm a woman in the 2015 era. Make your own damn sandwich. But what do I do? I still get up and go make breakfast. <laughs> What do I do? I still go up and made him breakfast. But I made him wait, <laughs> goddammit. I made him wait a couple hours, so fuck it. I still stood up for myself. And it's not like he was being an asshole about it. You know, he didn't actually tell me, go make him a sandwich or anything like that. He asked me quite politely. And then, whilst I was busy fuming over the fact that should I give in and actually make him something, or should I fucking stand up and be a feminist and all this other shit, because literally there's millions and millions of things that go through my mind at any given fucking moment. So, I'm thinking to myself... She tells me about Yes. So, I'm thinking to myself, I'm going to be a fucking feminist. Of the ages. He gonna make his own damn food. And then I pictured giving him a cup of ramen. Like a fucking teacup. We don't even have the type of teacup that I pictured. I was like thinking of the like a nice china <laughs> fucking set. A teacup. Like a dainty little Like a dainty little fucking teacup. Like fucking <laughs> china from a fucking china set. We have nothing like that in this house. We mostly have penguin mugs and shit because I'm fucking obsessed with penguins. We have some regular mugs and I have this really cute little fat red one that's called a snuggle mug and it's a ridiculous stupid ass name, but it's really cute yeah. and it's red and it's lovely, whatever. So I'm, I literally, having just woke up and he's asking me to make food, I'm trying to be a fucking feminist about it and make him wait because I know I'm actually just going to make him food because I'm going to feel bad if I don't make him food because he did buy me Chinese food for breakfast yesterday. So, I was making him sweat, basically. And I'm terrible, whatever, fuck it. And then, like I said, I immediately started picturing because I said something flippant, like, bitch, I'm going to make you ramen in a cup. Like, I was actually going to physically make the ramen in a fucking boiling pot of water, mix it all up, get it all done, and give it to him in a goddamn plastic cup. Whatever those the fucking things are. You usually see the red ones in the fucking college movies with all the alcohol in it, blah, blah, blah. I, don't, I specifically tried not to get the red ones because of that fucking stigma. I will get the green ones. I will get the orange ones. I will get the fucking blue ones. And at one point, I had to get the pink ones because, and I hate pink. I fucking hate pink, Kenny. You have no idea. I had to get the pink cup. Fun fact. Hmm. Fun fact, I digress. Um, those cups <laughs> are designed for beverage mixing and cocktails. They are. This is true. Scientifically, they are actually created with the purpose. The lines on the cups are for specific beverages. If you get the uh, like the Solo brand, yeah, I think that's what this is. But it's green. And yeah, the lines the lines are ounces. The lines are ounces. Yeah, like one is for like whiskey. One is for like vodka. One is for beer. There's like each line has like a different thing. I and believe it's meant for like. If you're mixing alcohol and really, that's why you see the red ones. That's why you yep. see the red ones the most often is because those are the most like uh, those are the ones designed for like beer and vodka and like the cheap alcohol. Truthfully, um, there is a vodka that is not cheap. Trust. Well, yeah, but <coughs> I do not. You see it in college. You see it in college movies because college students are fucking poor. And mm. yeah. Well, my thing is. I can't stand the stigma behind them, you know, especially considering I c could pass as a college student. So I, and I literally only use these cups 
for drinking ice water, for fucking putting some milk in, or eating some cereal out of when I'm being extremely fucking lazy and don't want to wash a bowl. Or pull a bowl out, or dirty a bowl, rather. You know, so, I digress. Why the fuck did I bring these cups up? Oh, I remember now. So, I was, that's, I was talking, that's the kind of cup I was talking about. Because we don't have fancy fucking china like I was picturing in my head when I fucking went off on that tangent in my head this morning. So, I was basically like, you know, I told him, you won't get ramen in a fucking plastic cup. Literally, I was gonna cook the ramen, do all the fucking thing and the prep work and shit, and make the fucking ramen. I make it sound like there's a whole lot of prep work to it, it's really not. And then I was gonna pour out the excess juices and give it, give that shit to the bitch in our cup. In our fucking plastic cup. And in my brain, I suddenly got the mental image of serving him a cup of fucking ramen in a fancy, dainty little teacup. And him going and tilting the fucking cup while holding the saucer, this non-existent fucking saucer, in his other hand. And as he's tipping the cup up, I go and say something like, Pinky! And he pops his pinky in the air as he fucking slowly slurps the fucking noodles out of this goddamn teacup. That's where my brain went from, it went from trying to be a militant fucking feminist and make him make his own goddamn food, because that's what militant feminists are, right? <laughs> Men make their own goddamn food, to picturing making my boyfriend of damn near five years drink ramen from a, eat ramen from a fucking fancy teacup. Did you realize you never finished telling the original story? I know this! And that's where I was leading back, and I was like, just like this, the start of this video, and the whole first story turned into me telling you fuckers, uh, oh, sorry, no, viewers, you're still assholes because you don't leave any goddamn comments, so fuck all y'all. Love you. Not really. <laughs> Kitty, breathe! <laughs> breathe, Kitty! Oh, God, I've killed Kitty! I'm never gonna get over that. I'm never gonna get over that. I fucking hate South Park. I fucking hate South Park. But you are literally the first person who's ever been a friend of mine named Kitty. And I constantly have that in the back of my head. When you die in video games. When you fucking, like, get really quiet. I'm constantly like, oh shit. They killed Kitty. <laughs> and I'm not, not helping you breathe. <laughs> Glitch, that's not too far off in the house I live, so we're all good. Right? I don't even feel bad about it. I'm not, I'm not saying that I feel bad about it. What I'm saying is, I fucking hate South Park. This is another fucking tangent. And it has a point, I, I swear to God. Like I hate South I Park. Like what? I don't even like it either. I like the right. video game, and that's it. I don't like South Park. I, I can't stand it. I think it's crass and lowbrow, and it's just, you know, there's a whole lot of other things. I can't stand that show. Okay? So... But at the same time, I've seen just enough to know, oh my god, they killed Kenny! Or, oh my god, they killed Kenny! Whatever the fucking fat one's the voice is. I can't do it. I'm the, gonna only thing, the only <coughs> thing I like about South Park is the fact that they make fun of everyone equally. This is true. And the fact that they do great satire and social commentary pieces. It may be <coughs> stupid, but the meaning behind it is usually, okay, you're being stupid. One of the experience, like one of my first experiences of South Park was chocolate salty balls. Was the fucking South Park movie where Satan's fucking Hitler, maybe. And I just, I, I when I saw that in the South Park movie, I was forced to watch it because again, my ex-husband's a dumbass. And yes, that sounded and like I was generalizing. You know, that and people who watch South Park are dumbasses. You know what? But the thing is, I kind of think that a lot of people that watch South Park... Well, actually, no. I know that a lot of people that watch South Park, not all of them, but a lot, are dumbasses. My ex, case in point. Well, that's and just, back to my fucking ex. Well, that's just odds, because there's lots of stupid people. So odds are... Well, yeah. A lot of the stupid people watch it because they stupid. Yeah. And it goes back to that Harvey Flagpole sitter song. Or Harvey Flagpole... No, wait. Harvey Danger Flagpole sitter. I know I knew the fucking song. I just heard it a few days ago on the radio, which was actually quite surprising and pleasing. It literally says at one point, only stupid people are breeding. And I'm like, you know what? That's really true for the most part. But back to my, you know, whole stupid ex. So like I said, 
I was dual wielding some motherfucking frying pans. And I, like I said, in my head, I'm picturing myself looking like dressed to the nines in some motherfucking badass medieval armor, and I'm dual wielding some motherfucking frying pans because I'm a fucking in this bitch's life. Now, all of this insanity, all of this craziness, still in my mind, whilst I'm coming at this motherfucker in some pajamas and dual wielding frying pans, picturing myself in a full set of armor and looking awesome with my fucking amazing purple hair, because I'm fairly sure my hair was purple at the time. I'm still thinking and telling myself, because there's that little voice of Jimmy Cricket, not really Jimmy Cricket, because fuck that little bastard. He should have done more shit to actually get shit done with that child. <laughs> not even the point. So, I'm fucking, in the back of my head, there's still a sane part of me saying, now, Lily, remember, you can't kill this guy! If you actually kill him, you will go to jail and bitch you do not look good in orange. Because I thought I was going to be putting orange prison gear or stripes and neither one of suit me. Neither one of those suits me. And that was my only reason for not killing him. Not that I was taking my fa the father of my children mm -hmm. away from them. Not that murder's wrong. Because yeah, to a degree, it's wrong. Hey, I support the death penalty. Whatever. You know, not that... Uh, side note, for all of those who think that getting abortions is murder and that it's wrong and that you think you have a fucking say in what happens to a woman's uterus that is not your fucking own, shut the fuck up. Please, go choke on some bleach because I'm sick and tired of your dumb shit. If, now, don't get me wrong, I love my kids. I fucking love my kids. But if I hadn't have been so fucking terrified of what would be done to me if I got an abortion, Neither one of them would exist because that man is such a fucking plague on the hum of humanity. Now, I am glad that I had my kids, but what I regret is who I had them with. And that's my say on that subject for the moment. Back to the thing. I knew that I literally, I couldn't kill this guy because the fashion statements. Because that's where I was at that point in my life. I wasn't going to look good in orange. I wasn't going to look good in black and white stripes. I wasn't going to look good in prison gear. And prison food sucks. Now, this, that was my thought process, okay? That was my thought process because that is how fucking psychotic I was. Because of my ex-husband. Because of my mother. Because of my brother. Because of my fucking family. And I sound like I'm psycho right now. I know. But I'm emoting... All the insanity that I went through, not even all of it, honestly, just a small chunk, okay? Now, you guys may think, you viewers, whatever, may think that I'm just being crazy and that I'm just fucking psycho and it, I'm overreacting to a bag of fucking M&Ms. It's not about the M&Ms. It's about the lies. It's about the continuous deceit. And it is about the fact that I was done and I was at the end of my rope and either he was dead or I was dead and again I say in the back of my mind I was still like he's not worth going to jail over because fashion reasons but I did hit him with the frying pan at least one of them I'm fairly sure because I talk with my hands and I'm kind of clumsy so I might have very well just dropped it on him but <coughs> <laughs> it's a miracle, honestly, because I was spinning them a couple times like they were fucking nunchucks and I was a goddamn ninja turtle. It was a miracle I didn't fucking bash myself in the face with the, uh, one of them. <laughs> because again, butter. I'm a klutz, I'm clumsy as fuck, and sometimes a bitch has butterfingers. And that's not, it's really not good when you have sharp nails and you're trying to give a hand job. <coughs> <coughs> I literally said that, Alex, just for the sheer look that came over your face just now. You guys can't see that because <laughs> I didn't turn on the webcams. But no, for real, I'm collecting my hands and butterfingers. Really, seriously, ladies out there, men out there who put fake nails on, please be aware of your penises and the penises that you love and your vaginas and your clitties, whatever. Please take some care. This is a public service announcement, goddammit. That's what this has become right now. Take some fucking care and mind to not 
possibly fucking neuter yourself or spade yourself, whatever the fuck, <laughs> with your fake ass nails when you was trying to get some foreplay going, okay? Okay. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Can he say it again? <laughs> that was glorious. That was glorious. Disclaimer, we do so Just so you know, this is probably the most alive I have been all day long, so thank you. <laughs> and really, that we was the whole point of it. Joe, so. We do not own yeah. a G. Oh Ooh. my god. Fucking Christ. We do not own G.I. Joe. We do not endorse them. They do not endorse us. We're making no money. Sweet Jesus, please don't. <laughs> Excuse me. Sweet Jesus, please don't. Please don't die. I know, right? Please don't die. I need a ticket. <laughs> Jesus. My name is not Kenny, so don't kill me. <laughs> oh my god, that is not me telling you fucking viewers to go out and kill people named Kenny. Don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. That's a bad idea, that's really against the law. And it's not just because you look bad in orange! I swear to god! <laughs> so many fucking disclaimers. Oh, trust me, our whole videos should just have a, like, all our videos should just constantly have disclaimers over them. Warning, we are bad influences. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> that's, just, that's just a catch-all. Warning, we're bad influences. No, I'm like, yes, honestly. Warning, we're bad influences. <laughs> it's really not smart to take a lot of the violent things we say to heart. Some of them, maybe. Not all. Please don't. <laughs> honestly, it's probably not a good idea to take anything we say seriously. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, 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 no. I, 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 no, no, no. Take it seriously that... If you do not have a uterus that currently has a baby growing inside of it that you don't want, or whatever, don't fucking tell a woman what to do with it! Well, I think they're smart enough to know that we're serious, and we're not, though. I don't think so. There's some pretty and stupid viewers, people out there, Alex. See? I and didn't viewers, say it! Kenny said it! And, and viewers, if you're not smart enough to know that we're kidding, then we're not, you're stupid. You're stupid, and really? Please don't breed, ever. <laughs> don't stick your penises in, in anything that can grow a baby. In Wait. fact, if you're stupid, just, just so cut you know, sex will give you cancer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, just cut it off. Yeah, if you have sex, your dick will fall off. If you have sex <laughs> and you're a stupid female, <laughs> oh my god. Your titties are gonna get really tiny, and your gut and your ass are gonna get huge. You're gonna be supremely disproportionate in a pair. And you'll look like a fucking potato. <laughs> you'll get zits! I mean, you'll get pretty much wrinkles. Hey, that's what happens if you have sex. Become a raisin. Yeah. Raisins will look better than you, sweetie. Raisins will look better than you, sweeties. Trust me. You'll even turn purple. You'll, you, no, and it won't be a shade, and it won't be a pretty shade of purple. You'll look like Gary Pape or McGilla Gorilla. It was, wasn't McGilla Gorilla that was purple. No, it was Gray Pape. Actually, yes. I think McGilla Gorilla was also oh, purple. No, wait, was McGilla Gorilla green? Or, no, I think they were. <laughs> Smoking, not even once in my entire fucking life. Glitchy has a sinus infection, which quickly became bronchitis. Okay, so finish your story, now that we have... Bitch, I don't remember what the hell the story was. I taste blood. Speaking this shit out of your ex-husband with, with, uh... Frying pans. Frying pans. Yeah. Dual-wheeled frying pans. Okay. Okay. Okay, so... In case you guys plus didn't... Plus 20 to dual-wheeled skill. Level up. Plus 20 to dual-wheeled <laughs> and plus 100 to hysteria. There you go. Strength through plus rage. Plus 1,000 to psycho. Hey, I wasn't entirely psycho. I still knew that going to jail and killing him was not a good thing. It was just not a good thing for the wrong reasons. Yeah. Now, now all of that aside, I think that I hit him in the head. But he's already kind of stupid, so I really didn't know if there was actual brain damage or not. <laughs> so... It's like now that I've got it all out of my system and I'm playing back everything I've said in my head, like every I'm playing it all back now in my head that I, when I said it out loud, I'm just like, I'm gonna go to jail, and I still ain't gonna look good in orange. 
I think one of the best things about these story times with Glitchy and Phoenix is that, that you can't always tell if I'm telling the truth. The statute of limitations should have been passed by that by now. You might be right. Yo, somebody Google the statute of limitations of spousal abuse. I'm literally about to, because I, I actually do have a question on that. <laughs> what would this be? Assault with a deadly weapon? Because if it's just assault, yes. But if it's but if it's assault with a deadly weapon, I don't think so. Okay, okay! But, 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 it's also not assault with intent to murder, because I knew I wasn't gonna kill him. So, hey. Well, it could be, it could be dissuaded as assault with intent to murder, simply because you were beating the living shit out of him, and he claimed that, and no one... And, and you were already psycho at the time, so they could be like, well, we're not gonna believe her. Well, okay. That's Here's true, the thing, but they could put me in a lie detector. Need to also need to go. That's with true. That is, yeah. Wait, what? What? What, Phoenix? You also need to Google the law in the state of Ohio. <laughs> so that is what I am doing Damn, right now. Damn, bitch! Just fucking put it out there. What state I'm in? Thanks. Ohio. You realize you said both your kids' names and your own name in this entire video, right? No, I didn't say my real name. Lily's not my real name. Nobody yes, you can... did. Yes, you did. I can't tell if this is the yes you did pretending you're like, like go and when you when you go I, to a I'm restaurant. I'm not trying to. I, no, I'm not trying to screw with your head. I mean, I, you may have said a nickname, but I'm pretty sure I caught your real name somewhere in there. No, I'm telling you, Lily is not my real name. Oh, okay. I okay, never mind. Then. I don't think. I don't think you would have noticed her real name, knowing her real name. You would have been like, what the fuck? Yeah. Okay, so okay. Kind of people, it's there are very of few people who know my real name. And that's how- My mama how... was drinking bong water, I'm telling you. I swear to fucking god. No, you know what it was? My real birth name? I'm not telling you what it is. What I'm... The reason I have this birth name that I fucking have is because of my mother's misplaced loyalty to a dying stepfather. People so out basically there in your mother's the world. a stupid cunt. We've established that. No, yes. no, we've established your mother's a stupid cunt. <coughs> no, what I'm saying is, to the viewers out there that actually bother watching this and, you know, making it to this point, because we're like fucking 37 minutes in, if you fucking put a shitty-ass goddamn name on your child for any fucking reason, especially if it's to appease a dead or dying relative, fuck you. Fuck you, and I hope the state comes and takes your kids away from you because you're a fucking douchebag. And don't name your kid something stupid, like Saint West. Yeah, I'm looking at you, King, Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian, you need to go fuck yourself, bitch. <laughs> oh my god, you need to go fuck yourself, bitch. And Kanye West, you are not god. You are not a god. You are a sad, sad little black man who needs to sit the fuck down, understand that his shitty, shitty raps are nothing but rip-offs of every fucking other thing that has ever come out. And god damn it, what the hell did you do to get in that Katy Perry video? For E.T. Because that video wow. was great. That song was great, and then your stupid ass came in. Now I'm gonna put what? Chloroform? He did oral. He did oral to get into that video. Optimus oral. I just like stopped completely because I suddenly pictured Kanye West doing oral, and I was like, <clears throat> threw up in my mouth a little bit. But I just, I think that people who fucking, and, you know what, Gwyneth Paltrow, Gwyneth Paltrow, bitch, you are weird enough already. Your husband or baby daddy was weird enough already, but you both were weird in good ways. And then you went and named your child Apple. Oh, it's only three years, really? I'm oh. clear! I'm in the fucking clear! Sup? I totally beat the shit Apparently, out of three years in every single day. Wow. Hey, there you go. That so is statute wow. Limitations, statute of limitations has passed, so fuck you. So fuck up. I beat the shit out of my ex husband with a pair of fucking frying pans, okay? I do not feel remorse. <laughs> I do not feel in the least bit sad about it anymore. I didn't feel sad about it at the time. I just knew that I wasn't gonna kill him. So fuck you. This is video proof. I knew I wasn't gonna kill my ex husband. For the sheer fact that I didn't want to go to jail because I didn't fucking look good in orange. I 
I love how Fuck you. I, I love how she, I love how she tried to like censor it up until she discovered that the statute of limitations. Had passed, I tried. And she's like, Damn. I don't give a shit. You know what? It's not like that pussy ass little bitch is ever gonna fucking come after me. I mean, Jesus Christ! Why would a lawyer watch this video? If there's a lawyer watching this video right now, statute of limitation is passed. Go fuck yourself. He's and probably laughing his ass off at this point. He's probably what? laughing his ass off. What? He's probably laughing his ass off at this point. If a oh. lawyer is watching this, he's probably just laughing his ass off. Right. But. He doesn't care at this point. He's just, he's just laying this for the sits and giggles now. Right. But what I'm saying is. A large part of the reason I told you this story is because looking back on it and telling it the way I tell it, which is, you know, how it did happen, but with a lot of fucking embellishment, a lot of fucking dramaticness, and a lot of fucking, you know, funny shit and crazy expletives and whatnot thrown in. So, what, shit, biscuit, titty matter. fuck. You know, my ex is a dumbass, my ex is a fucking liar. My parents spent, or well, my mother especially, Spent the majority of her fucking life after I was born trying to fucking make the world think that I was fucking psycho. This video is not helping that matter. But I digress. No, it's really not. I state, like I stated before, and I think I've stated a couple times now. Never before or since then have I been physically violent with a significant other in an angry way. Now... If you're gonna try to come at me and say that I've been physically violent with my current boyfriend of five years, which is the longest relationship I've had because a lot of people don't like me. I'm abrasive! Which is a really, like, nice, not nice, kind of passive-aggressive way of saying I'm a psycho bitch. I'm... You know what, I'm not even gonna fucking lie anymore. I'm not even gonna try to def def defend myself for people that I don't care about. I'm not right, okay? I'm not sane... <laughs> In the membrane, whatever. I'm weird and I'm fucked up. I'm bipolar. And I didn't choose to be this way. I didn't ask to be born. I got put here. And now, what I do day in and day out is fucking try to survive. <coughs> and when it comes right down to it, let's get philosophical up in this bitch. When it comes right down to it, that's all you can fucking do on any given second of any given fucking day. Get the fuck up. Get your ass out of bed. Do what the fuck you need to do to make a goddamn living and make yourself make it through that fucking day. At that point in time when it... it the, from the, what, the, bleh. At that point in time, when it came to the story that I just told you, the only way I was making it through the day was beating the ever-living fuck out of my ex-husband. Now ex-husband. Because he could not stop lying to me. Now, that makes it... What I haven't told you before, or as of yet, is I wasn't physically violent with him prior to this. Occasionally, he and I would shove each other. Nothing major, nothing dire. Now you're going to wring your hands, you're going to point your fingers and be like, Oh, there they were violent. Well, you know what? We were not meant for each other. We should never have gotten together beyond the baby batter situation. And that should have been it. But my mother... <laughs> what the fucking fuck, man? That was loud. Kenny, what the hell is you doing? Sorry, I, was <laughs> I was cleaning my phone screen. Sorry. <laughs> Child! Are you trying to give me a heart attack? I'm only 28! I don't need a heart attack! Bitch! Woo. The next time I will mute my phone before I do that. <laughs> Sorry. I forgot. You guys haven't mentioned it before, and I've done it before, so I just thought, I've never like, heard it before. Never. No! Actually, there was one time that I heard I it before, know, I but I didn't know that you were cleaning your phone. Ooh, ooh. My ears, they bleed. Much like our viewers after me yelling. <laughs> Very glitchy. I'll, I'll, I'll mute it next time. Sorry. With that, we're going to end this video and get back to the topic we originally started out with. Bye! <laughs> Kenny, say goodbye. Bye-bye.